person that was walking up the stairs at the end of the finale episode, that was, I don't care who says what, walking up those stairs, that was Allison's hair. Walking into the bedroom, that was a wig. Do you remember what I'm talking about? You see the person walking up the stairs going into Mona's room. They open the door. Going up the stairs, that was Allison's fucking hair. They get into the room. It we, was a completely the different thing, hair The day. problem is, is that you cannot no, read you too cannot. much into that. Because you don't know if they're doing it on purpose or if, in fact, it was a stunt double. Or well, somebody that, that, that was just, a, you know what I mean, that was filling in for them. You, you, they're not going to pay fucking, you know, uh, somebody to come on set for a day. Right. If no, that's not they what I'm saying. Need, but, but what I, I understand am saying, what, saying. what I am saying is that I've had this discussion with Jeff. At the end of the day, I want to trust, obviously, in professional writers that are putting this story out there that has kept me this intrigued for four years that they're going to go out with a motherfucking bang and blow me off my couch. I... That is wishful thinking. And I, that is I, I how mean, I'm going to look at it. I, I, I agree with you 100%. I feel as though... Me thinking about it, I feel as though these, these, they're, they're not, the people that are writing this story, they're not idiots. They're not fucking morons. They're professionals. They are not going to have a show that this is this big and have not, not even millions, billions of fans be disappointed at the end. I feel like they're not going to do that to us, but I just, me as myself, as somebody who's not really a writer and who who can't, like, really be like, okay, you know, I, I don't plan shit out in my head. Like, I'm like, oh, you know, I think but like yeah, this. But yeah, we wrote the script for Dark Cabin. We did. I'm just <laughs> saying, though, as, like, somebody who's not, like, a fucking, like, murder mystery writer. You know what I mean? Like, somebody yeah. who can't think like that. To me, it's like, how the hell are they going to do it? Like, as a normal well, yeah, person. Because you know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking, like. Certainly. Because that we would be like have me trying. No idea exactly. That would going in like, the direction of. You know, we have normal fans and everything like that. Like we've got people that like you know that are that are servers or they work in kitchens or they go to school yeah, for this or like this. this. But I, I'm Janelle saying, Paris didn't find out she was going to die until the table read for the episode. These actors don't even know what's going to be going on. Oh, absolutely. But yet, I'm pretty sure that they're telling certain individuals that keep prepare. getting brought up in the conversation and this show. <clears throat> Ren, that they need to keep certain days of their schedule open, whether or not you're working on Hand of God, Julian Morris, having Facebook chats about it. So I don't sexy. give a flying yeah. shit, you sexy motherfucker. You are still big A. I, they have to be telling these people, well, without saying this, and blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, Sasha Petersa was all worried about the direction of Allison's character, and Marlene King said to her, don't worry, it's not what you think. So they're not telling these people exactly what's going on. So how the fuck I mean, are we going to... I Allison is pissing me off, don't get me wrong. But they're, 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 she, she's not going to be A. Well, absolutely not. First but of all, I, we, there are a lot of, is Allie A. I come understand, on. but a lot of people are thinking it. And it's just like, come on. I understand, but n no. no. I'm no. sorry. That's your opinion. You're she might not have good intentions. I she might be a selfish little see you next Tuesday. But... She is, in my opinion, they are not going to just... They're doing with her what they did with Ezra. Exactly. They're, they're making... not just going to... No. No. I'm sorry. We're not even going to talk that, about that. That won't even shock me. That won't even shock me. That would be oh, like... Hey, Allie. Oh, no shit. Like, that would be like fucking, like, Melissa being big A. Like, Actually, would... that would shock me more than Allie being not, big A. No. A it absolutely would. It would shock me more than Allie being okay. big A. Okay, okay, my bad. That would be like Paige being big A. That would not shock me. It wouldn't shock me either. That wouldn't shock me. Do I believe it? Absolutely not. I would be pissed but off because I, I don't, be I don't feel like Paige... I don't like Paige, and I want the person... Like, you have to understand, I don't like Paige. I want the person who's big A, I want to fucking like this person so that i'm so devastated. that i'm like oh my god no i'm gonna go out on a limb and i'm gonna say this i do not want ren to be big a because because i firmly believe that he you believe is it. big a i don't want him to be i was having this discussion with jeff as well 
I want, I want one of the fucking girls to I be I want it to be one of the girls. And you know which one I want it to be? Fucking Hannah. Because that would blast me the fuck that, off the Oh, couch. that wouldn't surprise me more than anyone on Anybody the show. Anybody on that show. E- more than Emily. More than fucking... Uh, Spencer wouldn't shock me. Pepe. Like, Bitch, yeah. It would shock me more than anyone. It would shock me more than fucking Tippy. If yeah, Hannah if was Tippy big or fucking Pepe were Big A, I would still be more shocked if Hannah. If, if Hannah if, were Big if A. Hannah was Big A. Hannah or... Caleb would shock oh, me. Caleb would blow me off my couch. I'm sure you would be blown off your couch too, Amanda Weingartner. I know you would. She loves Caleb. Oh, I do too. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, honestly, like, don't get us wrong. If if it turns out to be Ren, we are going to be like, fuck yeah! We told you. We knew it. We fucking called it. And we'll be happy. While we're making this video really quick, I want to put out a shout out to PLL Forever 1998. That is a friend of ours by the name of Erica. She has made her own YouTube channel. Go, Go check it out. Go check out the recap for Amanda Weingartner's uh, live reaction with her boyfriend to the PLL finale. Her boyfriend was throwing in commentary and he had me laughing my ass off. <laughs> I could tell that he actually watches the show. He was sitting there going, bitch, every time Allison came on the screen, I was like, fuck yes. But anyway, <laughs> go check out go those check two channels. Out. And of course, the JMS movies, Jeff Sewell. Um, so anyway, I feel like I would be happy with Ren being Big A. Yes, I would be, but I would be happy because it'd be like, yes, but I wouldn't be shocked. The shock- I, I wouldn't be shocked either, but I would be, it would be something that would be okay with me. I'd be okay with it. I would it. be okay Absolutely. with it. Do I want him to be the guy? Fuck no. I want to be shocked. I want to know that the time that I've invested into the show, the money, the time, the fucking everything that I have invested. Is going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it at the end. Yeah, because seriously, can you guys imagine... If we're sitting there watching it and like it winds up being like fucking Allie has been big A this whole time. I'd just be like, I'm done. I'm not <laughs> well, you can't it. even say I'm done because it would be the end of the fucking I'd show. be like, you know what? There's no recap about this. Fuck this. Nope. <laughs> done. Sorry, guys. Peace done. Out. PLL Bye. Freaks 13 fucking YouTube page. Over. Gonzo. <laughs> Gonzo. Fuck you. Gonzo. you Marlene King. You. No, Suck I would come out with a fucking no. Blanca video. Fucking oh, part two. That's what God. I would come out with. I'm sorry, we've got fucking, we've got, uh, we have irate customers here in the office right now. I'm sorry, Gian, I'm going to have to call you back. I'll tell you one thing, I'd be, would you stop? I'm looking to see if a car, is the car like going when down you do the that. Oh my God. Stop it! <laughs> Don't do that! I fucking hate you. Oh, so yesterday, okay, listen to this. So yesterday. <laughs> so yesterday. Do not talk about that No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So yesterday. <laughs> Don't ask. So yesterday, we're sitting here on the porch. I can't, I can't, you know what, I can't even say it because I can't even say who he was talking about. Okay, C- Cook was talking about somebody putting their shoes on the wrong feet because I can't even say who it is. I know. So, Cook's sitting here talking about, oh, uh, you know, Cook, this AKA person. Cook, lead actor, Dark, car, dark Cabin. It, yes. That's Joey Sexy dark motherfucker. Cabin. So, um, Cook's sitting here talking about how someone this one know. person, you know, he's like, I, I think about, I think about this person and I think that she probably puts her shoes on wrong and like, you know, puts her shoes on the wrong feet. <laughs> and then Megan does the same fucking thing tonight. <laughs> I went to go put my fucking shoe on and I was like, Gianna! And she comes running out of the bathroom. I'm like, look at my shoe. <laughs> You made it seem like I jumped off the toilet. <laughs> you made I thought it was the yes. greatest thing I've ever happened to me in my life. I went to get my fucking phone in the bathroom. It was charging. <laughs> I didn't come blasting out of the bathroom. Ripping my that. pants up. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> but. Uh, so, yeah. We're rewriting the script right now. Not rewriting, but tweaking. Pretty much rewriting. Because we have to change up the storyline a little bit. Because cousin, it's going to shock you. My cousin Bruce, a.k.a. Max, in the movie. He is my cousin in real life. Shout out to him. He would be fucking thrilled if he knew that I was talking about him on YouTube. He's nuts. But he he just, uh, he actually had me laughing because he is not one to sit there and read directly from what you hand him. 
and he keeps changing up the lines. And some of the what he actually came up with was funnier than what we actually had. Well, so. C- Cook gave us the idea last night yes, to change did. the story up a little bit, and it made a lot more sense. It did. And Team Cookie Monster. Team Cookie yes. Monster, yes. So, yes. Kudos to Cook. Kudos to Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie kudos. I don't know, guys. So that's that's really um we're gonna we're gonna attempt to come out with a PLL video at least you know hopefully oh, once a week. Me. Believe me. I mean, it's hard right now because we're we're you know we're on a hiatus here, and it's like there's only so many times that you could talk about it. But we do have a lot of if I have to videos. if I have to tie her to the fucking chair, page style. <sighs> trust me, we will be coming out. Oh, with page PLL style. Mm. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> black, black, <and> Egyptian. <laughs> all right but um yeah we're gonna be we're gonna attempt to come out with pll videos every week once a week um other than that be prepared for dark cabin overload don't hate like us. cast videos we are gonna do a cash chat check out our contest We've been posting a lot of stuff on our Facebook, so you have to, like, scroll down. But we have a contest going on right now. If you go like our friend's uh, page and um, comment done, when like, whenever you're done, uh, you can talk with the, the cast. When we have our cast meeting, we'll actually In make fact, a phone if you go like you. our page for Dark Cabin, you can talk with the cast. How's that? Well, now we're going to have, like, 500 people that we're going to have to make phone calls to, and that's just not going to work, Gianna. So we'll have a live chat. We'll do a live... We should do a live chat with the cast. That would be awesome. But, yeah, go check out our Facebook page, you know, uh, www.facebook.com slash PLLFreaks13 and www.facebook.com slash dark cabin we have links to both of our sites on both of the the, my, the things we also have our page to donate on there um we've got cast pictures we're gonna actually be coming out with i'm gonna be taking a picture of the first page of our script and you guys are gonna be able to read it fucking read it so um then we're also gonna have behind the scenes footage we're going to be posting bloopers after bloopers. the movie comes out. Well, we'll be posting bloopers after the movie comes out, but we'll also have, like, funny shit that happens on set. Um, we'll keep oh, you there'll updated. be a lot of that with Bruce around, the, the, Well, the, our fucking cast is just, they're all a bunch they're of all assholes. So, um, we, we are. We're all a bunch of fucking morons. We're all, like, everything is funny with us. So. If anything, you know you'll get a few laughs out of this movie, even though it's horror. Yeah. Regardless of, you know, it is horror and it is serious, we do have a lot of our, yes, moments in there. So, you guys are going to be pleased, I think. So, keep the donations up if you can. Great. If not, we still love you. You guys are awesome. We have the best fans in the world. You you guys don't even understand. You guys are just amazing. And we promise you're not going to be disappointed if you do donate. I'm going to so, fucking blast this thing if it stops fucking... If, fuck it. Nah. Nah. 